Yo, yo, what's going on, man? It is your boy, baby, Jono Joseph, and I'm back at it again with another one, all right? Today, yo, today, man, we got the world record. Oh, my God. Today, yo, today, we got the world record domino robot, man, okay? 100K dominoes in 24 hours? What? What? This whole, like, the art of, like, stacking stuff, and then people doing, like, the Rubik's Cube walls, and, like, the making photos out of Skittles, like, how? How do you get here? <laughs> Let's find out, man. I can't wait. I can't wait. I love it when people have, like, I love it when people have ideas and actually put it on paper. You know what I mean? A lot of people just kind of BS their ideas and, like, let it go. They just talk about it a lot. And I like, I like people like Mark, bro. Mark is definitely somebody who gets shit done. Let's check this out. Um. He's a friendly little robot that's super good at only one thing, setting up a butt ton of dominoes really, really fast. Oh. It's taken five years to get to this point, but according to our initial tests, we have hopes that he might be more than 10 times faster than the fastest human. So today we're gonna put him to the test, going head to head against the world's foremost domino expert, who unfortunately is a mere human. Then we're gonna attempt a Guinness World Record, and he's gonna try and fill this entire warehouse with a mural of 100,000 dominoes. Come and for context, on. setting up See, a domino mural saying, that size bro, would take that. a team of seven skill builders one full week. Dom here. A week? Bro, imagine the janitor like came in and slammed a door extra hard on the sixth day. I don't even understand that kind of stuff. Do they glue the dominoes down so that they don't move? Or is it all a risk? I, I'm, I, I gotta know. ...is gonna attempt to do it by himself in 24 hours. Now I know what you're thinking. Big whoop, Mark. Because as a kid, you might have had a toy that looked like this. Or even this custom robot Kiwi Yo! Co that can drop 20 dominoes in a row. So isn't it a bit over... I didn't have it, but I wanted it. Didn't have it, but I definitely wanted it, okay? I was... I used to suck at it, bro. I used to take my dad, because him and like uh, my family were used to play dominoes and stuff all the time, like that in spades. So I used to take his domino box, and I remember I lost the big six. I don't know how I lost it, but I lost that hoe, and he got so mad. And then he bought me, like, these fake dominoes, which were like these. They, like, aren't real dominoes, but they're, like, the exact shape and size of a domino, if that makes sense. We're killed to utilize an autonomous robot, a half mile of Hot Wheels tracks, and... Well, they're not supposed to fall down. The mural one, you don't want the mural to fall down, right? I thought you, like, wanted to make a picture out of it. And a high speed bit overkill to utilize an autonomous robot, a half mile of Hot Wheels tracks, and a high-speed robotic arm. And I get it, because our designs look like this, where we were just trying to hack a little Roomba when we first tried to tackle this problem exactly five years ago. But then pesky details with scale arise, like for starters, just how much 100,000 dominoes is. So the robot will need to come and reload at least a thousand times, but how exactly do you reload it? And how would it know exactly where to drop each domino and what color it should be? And how do you make it so reliable that it doesn't screw up once in 100,000 drops of a domino? A system to reliably tackle issues at scales like this is just going to be inherently super complex. Like 10 times more complex what? than my automatic bullseye dartboard which to this point was probably the most complicated build on my channel. So after failing off and on for three years, I was doing a Q&A at Maker Faire and I told the crowd if anyone wanted to help me with the brutal challenge to hit me up afterwards. And to my absolute delight, two freshmen from Stanford and a software engineer from the Bay Area all took me what? up on the challenge. So I hired them and- Holy shit, imagine like you're like starting out like this. That's exactly what these two guys are, bro. Like they're on their like big journey to be able to fucking, oh my God, to be able to like fucking become like these really big engineers and shit. And then you meet this guy? That's fucking crazy, dude. Oh, fucking all dreams answered, bro. Hey, shouts out, bro. And shouts out to Mark for having like an opportunity like this actually available. Like, God, it's gotta be crazy, bro. And he said, uh, yeah, he said it took what, three years? Two years later, two years? here we were. Now, before I show you how it all works. Two challenge. years? So I hired them and two years later, here we were. Now, before I show you how it all works, I first wanted to put him in a head-to-head -head competition to see how good he really was. And for that, we need the undisputed heavyweight champion on YouTube for all things dominoes, Lily Havish. Lily, you oh, are- shit. no Yo, her shit is badass, bro. I ain't never seen somebody be so creative with like dropping dominoes and stuff than her, bro. Have you, if you guys do not follow, oh my God, you gotta watch some of her shit. Like, it's like that content that you sit and watch at like four in the morning 
Oh my God, that's Known so bad. on YouTube as the Queen of Dominoes, right? People do call me the Domino Queen. And for very good reason. With over 1.2 billion views on her, her channel, you've crazy, almost certainly bro. seen one of her incredible creations over her 12 years Look on the that. platform. She's so good, she's even got her own line of dominoes you can buy in stores. Okay, so here's the challenge, Lily. I want you to set up like 300 dominoes right now, and let's see how long it takes a human to do that. Okay. Okay. Clock starts. Now. I gotta do two hands. If you need me, Lily, just sitting here reading my newspaper. It's crazy how For you kids at home, quick. a newspaper is like a boring iPad made from trees. <laughs> That's actually pretty fast. Oh no! Oh, a disaster! Middle. The foibles oh. of being a human. Okay, Lily, are you ready for this? <laughs> yeah, she is kind of slow, but low-key, kind of quick at the same time, because, bro, it takes me so long to stack these hoes, because I always think that, like, you got to be so precise or else it'll, like, fall and stuff. So, hey, she's still faster than me. I've seen enough. I actually don't know how to whistle. This is the Dominator. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. I love the eyes. A good set of googly eyes will go a long ways. Okay, boy, let them down. I suck at dominoes, Lily, but I'm good at engineering, which means I'm actually really no. good at dominoes. <laughs> we even showed off David, double the dominator stacked. double stacked the middle row for you. That is impressive. That <laughs> is fucking seriously cried. impressive. I'm like, bro, why you gotta do that? This technique of laying down a tile of 300 dominoes at once was really the key that helped us crack the scale and reliability issues. And it's probably my favorite part about the dominator. Besides his wiggly tail, of course. Here's Josh to explain more. So we have these 3D printed funnels here, which allow us to drop all 300 dominoes all at once. And the mechanism that drops those into the top of this tray, we'll show that in just a second. And if we remove these funnels here, we can see that the dominoes are precisely placed in their locations. This allows us to place 300 dominoes exactly where we want them all at once. And they don't fall out because of what we call the Connect 4 mechanism under here. But if we trigger the servo, then it slides that Connect 4 tray over and drops them all at once, making for some gratuitous... Wait, but chat, how does it, how do they not fall over? If they Beautiful. get slid out, you know what I mean? How do they not come out and just slide right down? That doesn't Tray over and drop... Oh, because the other thing is still on top, right? Yeah, it's like holding them there until it picks it up. Okay, okay, never mind, never mind. Drops them all at once, making for some gratuitous, beautiful slow-mo shots. And so while this looks really cool, obviously dropping from that height wouldn't be effective. So we lower the whole platform down on this ball screw, then set them right on the floor, which turned out to be incredibly reliable. So Dom took the W in round one, but now it's time for the endurance round. Okay, first one to 10,000 dominoes wins. Lily, you ready? I'm ready. Dominator, you ready? Start. This is almost like a slap in the face for the little girl, huh? Oh my god. Wow. I already failed. That's great. And to Lily's credit, she was actually insanely fast. Just not, you know, robot fast. So unfair. So unfair. On top of that, she had to handle a very large distraction with the emotional maturity of a nine-year-old. <laughs> uh, yep. I think I'm doing pretty good. The tail is cute. Yeah, it is. You're doing I, very good for a human. I'll give you that. It's it's almost like wild. I wonder if he has like a guy or like, nah, because it really does seem like his personality is like true, you know? It doesn't seem like he's acting or anything. I'm trying to figure out though if like, because see, the thing about engineers and stuff, bro, is they're usually really, really fucking boring. Like, they're usually horrible. And this dude, he reminds me of somebody like Mrs. Frizzle or something, you know? Like, somebody who is able to find the fun and knows how to, like, make it entertaining. Like, it's really hard to, like, make stuff entertaining that you find interesting that you have to, like, revamp to put on YouTube, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, I wonder how hard it was for him to develop these projects and then like see them go so slowly and stuff like that because of the fact that he has to like film it and like do it on YouTube. Unless he's like completely fallen in love with this whole process, you know? 
I don't know. I would really love to like hear him do like some really like deep, deep questions and stuff. That would be dope. I, I, I want to know like, or like to do like a behind the scenes look at stuff, you know? Like, does he have like, I, I feel like there's gotta be like a female or somebody on the scenes that does all this cute shit. Like the stuff for the squirrels, bro. Like, there's no way he thinks of all this stuff, man. It's crazy. Most of my teachers are like that. I only ever had one teacher in my whole life of going to school that was like this. And her name was Miss Day. She's to this day, like the greatest person I feel like that I've ever like met in my life as far as like somebody who's added value to my life, like counselor wise. And so every other teacher, like I've never had teachers who were this good at explaining stuff in different ways. Like they have their way. And if you don't get their way, then you're just shit at it. Like that's how they think. You know what I mean? A uh, female, because females have that eye. Like they have that eye for stuff that a lot of guys don't have. You know, if that, does that make sense? Is that sexist in 2021? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'd have been so pissed. I'm like, oh, okay. So I won because you just knocked my shit over, dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? Get, no, out of here. Really? No. get out. Get out. That feels so much faster than it probably looks. How's Lily doing? Tired. And so while Lily's output slowed down considerably, Dom's did not. And I should mention, we sometimes call him Dom, but that's just short for his legal birth name, which as noted before, Dominator. is Dominator. Cause you know, like Domino, Dominator, whatever, it all works. I'm gonna head to the bathroom. Oh, Lily has to go to the bathroom. I'm human, right? Dominator, <laughs> do you have to go to the bathroom? Didn't think so. Stick it would have a table, have a table pull set. Like what? It's honestly kind of surprising to me how slow it does move though. Like I would think that that robot would be able to stack that shit a lot faster than that, you know? Like I think it's because it has to individually put all the dominoes into each one of those stacks instead of like letting them fall and like putting enough space for it to fall and then get smaller to where it automatically like stood up. You know what I mean? But then I guess you wouldn't be able to be that precise with like the color arrangement and all that kind of stuff. 9,000 perfectly laid dominoes in a little over two hours. Actually, 9,001. We got a bonus domino out there in the middle of this field. May or may not have been on purpose, but now we can say it's actually over 9,000. It was a pretty clear result, and Lily, of course, was gracious in her defeat to the machine overlords. So all that was left to do now was to knock him down. Satisfying. So we went head to head with the world's foremost domino expert and came out on top. And now it's time for the real challenge, to attempt a Guinness World Record and see how quickly we can fill this entire room with a mural of over 100,000 dominoes. All right, buddy, you got the game plan. How much do you think it costs to get that, uh, to get that different colored concrete floor like that with the logo in it? Is, do you think that's a sticker? Or do you think that's like really like the darker, like darker version of like concrete? Do they make colors of concrete? Am I stupid for that? I don't know. We'll see. Now you just gotta get out there and execute. Godspeed, little fella. You think it's a sticker? It's probably a sticker, huh? It'd be mad hard to do a whole nother layer of concrete, huh? That's just too much, right? Godspeed. Three hundred dominoes down. The counter, the counter left is to hilarious go. to me. I love how zip ties are that strong. Like the fact that a zip tie is really that strong is hilarious to me. Nah, robots could never take our jobs, bro. Cause it'll never be cool to get something made by a robot. You know what I mean? It'll always be cool to get something and see it handmade if that's what makes sense. Handmade stuff, I feel like will never go out of style. As long as people always have a lot of money, robot stuff and like stuff like that will always seem as like a, a easy way out rather than like something that's truly like beautiful, if that makes sense. So we're about sick. Like having that human, uh, having that human touch to stuff is what makes stuff like awesome. If that's what makes sense. That's what gives it its, its beauty. Six hours in, but more importantly, we just got our first Goomba. This is beautiful. 
Back to work, Dom. And the best part about working really hard for a few years is that the last 24 hours are super relaxing. And with that tile placed, we are officially halfway done with over 50,000 dominoes put down in just a little bit over 12 hours. And Dom, whoa, easy boy, just showing no signs of slowing down. So this is a good point to explain the rest of the robotic system. It all starts over here with the loading station that Josh and John Luke spent a lot of time See, optimizing. This is what I'm the dominoes this? are loaded by color on these conveyor belts, and then a KUKA robot arm grabs them and places them in one of 300 loads. Like, you see how long that would take, bro? Loading chutes made from 2.7 miles worth of Hot Wheel tracks. And you could load Dom directly with the robot arm, but this is much faster because he doesn't have to wait. He just comes in here. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. So, like, to the dock. it's not prepping for one load. There's, like, 40 stacks in that thing. Is that what that is? Oh my god. Um, directly with the robot arm, but this is much faster because he doesn't have to wait. You see all the different stacks in there? Oh, that's so badass, dude. Holy shit. He just comes in here to the docking station. Why is it so slow, though, I wonder? Do you think it would, like, knock stuff over if it moved faster? Is that why? Uh, he's got to say something about it. And the lower platform slides over, so the bottom layer of 300 dominoes gets loaded up all at once. And we also had a backup loading system using a tray, just in case at any point the robot arm wasn't working. Besides the Hot Wheels tracks, there's a ton of 3D printed parts throughout the build that we either printed ourselves, or if we were in a pinch, my friends at Matter Hackers helped us out. So that's the loader. Now how about the Dominator himself? How does Dom know exactly where to go in the room to drop a domino? So we've pre-programmed the route for all 102,000 dominoes, so the robot knows exactly where to go right from the start. Then, as we're driving around, we use these indoor- Bro, how? Or GPS sensors to track the position of the robot so it knows roughly where it is. And then as we get closer to the place the dominoes need to drop, we use these IR cameras that are tracking markers on the ground to make sure the robot lines up perfectly every single time. So the vision from the beginning is that we could set Dom up, we could turn off the lights and leave, and come back the next morning and you've got like a full field of dominoes set up. You can work all night in the dark just fine. All right, now how about these super cool wheels? So these are called Omni wheels and they're what? awesome because they let you translate it any direction you want. So this is way better than like your car where if you need to move a little bit to the left or right, you have to make like a five point turn. So with these guys, you can move any direction you want to adjust for small corrections in the placement of the dominoes. These wheels no! are powered by these clear path brushless DC servo motors. These are like the gold standard in terms of speed and accuracy and they allow us to slide the robot around by even just a couple millimeters at a time, which is super useful when we're trying to make real fine adjustments for placing the dominoes down. Now, obviously that's just the uppermost tip of the iceberg tip, but Dom's brain is over 14,000 lines of code, all from scratch. So if you want to go way deeper into the technical details, 14, I'll put a link in the video description where Alex put it all in one spot. Now back to finishing the second half. So the Dominator has been running just under 24 hours, and this is a bit of a momentous tile here. It's a me, Mario. One hundred and two thousand three hundred dominoes are on the floor successfully. Wait for it. This is the last three hundred. I think this is a moment. You guys, get back over here. Josh and Alex, let's observe it. Don't blow this, Dom. You got it, buddy. Finish strong. Oh. That's gotta got to be so it. satisfying, bro, because I can only imagine how many like tests and failures they had to go through for this. Just over 24 hours to lay all the dominoes, gentlemen. 
It feels really fulfilling as an engineer to see the design process yield results like this. And speaking of the engineering design process, my month-long creative engineering course where I teach this process and where you watch me make three builds from scratch and you make three creative builds of your own is once again open for enrollment for a bonus summer session right now. So go to monthly.com slash Mark Rober or use the link in the video description and I'll see you in class. So now with everything set up, the final critical step was to knock him down. You can see John loading in the Mario pipes because they were going to be our trigger mechanism. And the way that works is we've got four Hot Wheel cars glued to the bottom of this platform that rides in these parallel Hot Wheels tracks. Then you slap a green sliding shell on top and a motor at the end pulls the cart along the tracks with a string. Then the shell contacts the lever arm at each pipe like this, which causes them to roll forward, down the ramp, hopefully into the dominoes. Okay, now I'm nervous. <laughs> Yeah, this, this would have been way more impressive to see it done by hand, but this is still mad cool that they were able to do that. And look how like kind of almost out of line the robot is, you know what I mean? It's not like super perfect, which is kind of, it's, it's kind of cool to see that because if a human did this, it would have been perfect because they probably would have used like the lines and shit to make sure that it was like in key, in line and whatnot. Oh man, this is epic. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't nervous, now I'm nervous. Okay, three, two, one, go. <laughs> yes, two, three, four, five. <laughs> oh, dude, it's so perfect. Oh, my God. It's like a whole line in the middle. You see that? Got what the it! Hell? Woo! Yes! Awesome. Oh! Holy cow! Whoa! Oh my gosh! And in the end, Dom was 50 times faster than a skilled domino builder, and he got himself a world record to show for it. Although to be fair to us organisms, it was in the non-human category. And at that point, after five years, we were just so relieved to be done, we got a little carried away celebrating the champ with an appropriate send-off. Six-year-old me would be so stoked to know that I would eventually build a robot that could set up all the dominoes for me. So if you want the same feeling of making things with your hands to do cool things, but you don't want to wait 35 years, then my friends at KiwiCo have got the answer. What? In fact, this is an actual mini version of the dom I designed together with them just for this video. I mean, how awesome and adorable is that? He's like the protege, the Dom Jr. They've got an incredible That's team of designers badass, that work on dude. each project. That's and so honestly, cool. honestly, if I wasn't making YouTube videos, I think I would apply to be on their team. Then all the concepts are kid tested, and then it's delivered right to your door every month so you can foster your creativity and maker abilities in a fun and natural way. So for example, what? for this Domino machine box, inside you've got all the supplies you need to put it together, you've got simple instructions, and then a booklet with more info, like a cute Q and A with someone you might know. And this is the Tinker Crate line, but they've got eight different subscription lines, each catering to a different age group and topic. So if you want to support my channel and feed your brain while having fun at the same time, go to kiwico.com slash roberdomino or use the link in the video description to get an exclusive offer. So thanks to KiwiCo for being so great to work with. Thanks to Dom and Dom Jr. for just dominating. And of course, thanks to you for watching. What do we do now? We're about to clean it up. Oh, there we go. A cleanup robot. Oh, that's badass. A domino cleaning machine? Come on, I would love to see that follow-up video. Oh my God. Hey, Mark, you did your thing, baby. Consistent with it, too. Uh, blown away every time watching these videos. Watch. Oh my God, man. If you guys have not already subscribed to Zombie Mark, you got to get there. And you got to subscribe ASAP, okay? You can watch these videos at any time and it'll have your mind blown man there another crazy one is the one that he did i want to say it was about three weeks ago or two weeks ago it was a, a gopro video with sharks it's so cool go see it man go check the homie out i love you guys so much big peace